Good morning, YouTube. It's Kevin from Pound by the Cats back at you with another episode. It's June 5th. I'm out here on the Cooper River again. I'm running a little bit late. I hit the snooze button one too many times, but today I'm going to do my very first catch and cook video. So I hope you enjoy. There's that one. Good looking fish. Beautiful colors on him. He's a little bigger than I want to keep for my catch and cook, so I'm gonna let him go. Fish on in a new spot. There's my catch and cook fish right here. All right, y'all, here's my eater for the catch and cook video that I'm gonna do. Pretty little blue cat. I'm gonna put him on ice. All right, so we've done the catch part. Now it's time to do the clean part. This catfish has been on ice since I caught him. So he's good and rigid, and ready to go. First thing I'm gonna do is cut a slice on each side. take the tip of my blade and run it along the back side of the fish just like this then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side what this does it helps to relieve the pressure when I start skinning it this thing I run my knife down the rib line of the fish. Then you want to take some pliers or preferably some catfish skinners and grab the edge of that skin and peel it off just like that. Take our knife, you run it down that backbone. Now just take my knife and run it right down the edge of the ribs. Just like that, you get a pretty catfish fillet. There's one side. Do the same thing on the other side. Take our knife, run it down the backbone to find that spine. Just 
like that. All right, everybody. So we've caught, we've cleaned, and now it's time to cook. What I'm gonna make is a low carb fried catfish wrap. All right, the reason I can call this low carb is because fish has no carbs. Eggs have no carbs. This almond flour has three carbs, but then you take away the fiber and it's one net carb per serving. Cajun seasoning, garlic salt, black pepper. This cheese has no carbs. Spinach has good carbs. So really the only major source of our carbohydrates is gonna come from our carb counter tortilla wraps. And these are four net carbs per serving and one serving is one wrap. All right, so what I've done is I've cut off this red meat. This is the, the stuff that turns black and gray and mushy and you don't wanna eat that. Some people don't agree with this because they say you're wasting meat. But if it doesn't taste good, then why even kill the fish? So uh, if we're gonna kill the fish and we're gonna make something to eat, it at least needs to taste good. And this is the reason why a lot of people say they don't eat catfish, they don't like the way it tastes. So that's personal preference. I cut it off of there. So we have these white fillets. So you'll take two eggs and mix those up. And what this'll do is it'll help our flour, our coating, to bind to the fish a little easier. There you go. All right, so we'll just take some of our almond flour and scoop it in here. The amount just depends on how much fish you're gonna cook. We're not cooking that much. We only saved a two or three pound blue cat, so we don't need much at all. I should do it. Next thing you want to do is add your Cajun seasoning. You want to do that to taste. I like a lot of Cajun seasoning. Add your garlic salt. And all this is to taste. And your black pepper. Mix it all together until it looks like it's evenly spread throughout. So for this little bit of catfish, I'm gonna use a pan instead of a pot to fry my catfish in. And it's preheating right now, and I used 100% pure olive oil because that's all we have at the house. Uh, I usually use vegetable oil, you can use peanut oil, canola oil, whatever kind of oil you prefer. And I usually get this around 350 degrees before I put the catfish in. All right, you take your piece of fish, coat it in the egg wash. Kind of let it drip off a little bit and then put it in your seasoning. Make sure you got it all covered. You take that, you lay it in the pan gently. Fish cooks fairly quickly, so you don't want to leave it on one side for too long. Maybe about two or three minutes on each side. So I've laid my tortilla out. I have some fresh spinach and some cheese. You can put tomatoes, whatever you want to put on there. This is just how I like to eat it. All right, I think this piece is about finished. And as you can see on the inside, it's nice and flaky. So there you go, there's the finished product a low carb catfish wrap. If you're trying to eat a little healthier, trying to lose some weight by going low carb, this is an excellent way to still have fried catfish without all the flour and the carbs. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And leave me a comment if you wanna see more 
catch and cook videos like this. Until the next time, happy fishing.